premiering live from the Cheap Seat Studios in Pennsylvania, it's Jeopardy! Featuring Ideal Threesome! Hi from Delaware! I'm going to try to lose. Hi from Chicago! Hi from Philly! Go Birds! Woo! And your hosts, Alvin Bothman and Chase Brown. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia on the Cheap Seats Network. My name is Chase Brown and I'm here on the desk as always with Evan Bothman. Chase, it is a fantastic day to be bringing you a very special edition of the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. Today, what we have is, you know, in remembrance of a a legendary figure in in our culture, and that would be uh, Alex Trebek, who had just recently passed away. And so today, Chase, we are going to take on a Jeopardy style of match. Absolutely, Evan. We're doing Jeopardy today on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. I'm excited about it. I know you're excited about it. Mm-hmm. I think our competitors may be excited too, but that's that's exactly right, Evan. This is our first time doing a match of this style. And yep. you know, if this is if we if we like this enough, if the people are clamoring for it, maybe we'll do some more of these. Maybe we'll keep this up. But I'm really, really excited for today's match because we have two returning competitors and yes, a do. brand new competitor. But they're all pretty familiar with each other, Evan. We've got ideal threesome here today on the Cheap Seats movie trivia. Yeah, Chase, it's a it's great that you add that little caveat that we have had two-thirds of ideal threesome on here before, but never the complete, the complete whole threesome. So this is a big deal. Threesome. We need the whole threesome. You know, it's the ideal threesome. They titled it themselves. They're setting the standard. So we are just assuming that, you know, we had Courtney Hall, we had Emma Rosenthal. Those are the first two competitors. And then we also have Aliki Racy. She is the last competitor in this Jeopardy trivia match today. And Chase, these three know each other very well. It's a different style of game than we're used to playing here in the Cheap Seats movie trivia. Sure. But I think they're going to knock it out of the park today because we're specifically putting this match in the comedy category. That is absolutely true, Evan. An all-out comedy match between this comedy troupe here. Now, to peel back the curtain a little bit, I'm just going to peel it back. Oh, yes. I'm just going to peel it back. Curtain is we peeled. have done an, a Jeopardy match with these three before. That that mm-hmm. will not air. It'll never air. You'll never yes. see it. We've seen it, but you will never. Uh, you know, we had some technical difficulties as the show goes. I mean, we've only been doing this for... I mean, the better half of the year. So, you know, those typical difficulties still come up and, you know, those things still happen. But we're throwing that all out the window. We're giving these ladies the opportunity to come here and show their stuff in a category that we think that they're going to excel at. Absolutely. And Chase, I I just really want to get some stuff out about these competitors today. Just to, you know, I want you guys to check these these ladies out because they are hilarious in their own right. Aliki Racy, like I said, the first time ever competing here on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia Find her at a leaky likey on all social media platforms. We have Emma Rosenthal making the return, and she has a hilarious TikTok at It's the Rosenthal. It is fantastic. She is hilarious. And then last but not least, Chase, you know, we're rattling off these accomplishments because they have so many. Courtney Hall and her podcast Film Schooled. It's a great deep dive and taking a look at movies at a very, very detailed level. You know, they they have done a movie that I love, Sing Street. They've, mm. they've gone over that. It's one of my favorite movies from the last five years. And, you know, I recommend it to anyone out there. That's absolutely right, Evan. And Emma and Aliki have both made appearances on the Film School podcast. So yes. if you'd like a little touch of the ideal threesome outside of the Cheap Seats movie trivia, make sure you're going and supporting them in the way and showing them some love because that's what we do here. We like to share and show some love. Uh, you absolutely. can also find those descriptions down in um, the link there, the links in the descriptions. That's the, yep. You'll find the links <laughs> in the descriptions. So let's not waste any more time, Evan. Let's go ahead let's and bring Ideal Threesome in to the stream. Aliki Racy, Courtney Hall, and Emma Rosenthal Woo! are joining us today. I am excited. Hello, ladies. How are you doing today? <clears throat> Great. Good. Great. 
<laughs> it's uh it's fantastic to see you all today and you know evan talked about you a little bit at the top but aliki i'll start with you since you're you're, you're newer here where what is your your comedy background uh either alone or, or just with courtney and emma well i met courtney and emma uh when we just did the an mfa screenwriting comedy concentration program at DePaul university and the second city it's like Paul and Second City got together and they were like, let's do a master's and they and they took us as the guinea pigs and it was something. Um, but I was there in Chicago because I did five years of sketch comedy and improv in Chicago. Um, and then, you know, finally went to school uh, <laughs> after that to be like, let me, let me, let me commit to screenwriting. So that's what I did. I put up a lot of shows there and improvise back when you know we could all gather in a theater yeah. together <laughs> spew our regular germs all over each other not anymore not anymore no. just <laughs> no 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 germs at all but aliki my biggest question for you is you obviously have a plethora of experience do you think that that is going to do you well in the match today no no <laughs> no i think it'll do me great in everything else in life Okay. But not this. Yeah. Right. Face a leaky first time on the show and expectations are low. Absolutely. Yeah. So That's actually know. I'll do well in the sense that I think I, as a defense mechanism, I'm claiming I'm, I want to do bad. I want yeah. to do my worst. So like, I'll do well in that sense. Yeah. You set that. low, you set low expectations and then nothing can disappoint you. Right. That's pretty much our, our, is so our tagline and our way of being here, Evan. Low oh, expectations on the Cheap Seats Network. It that's is. What we, that's what we enjoy there. Emma, I'll ask you the same question. What's your background in, in comedy? Uh, you find yourself here for the second time. You did a you did a teams match with Courtney. Um, so what's what's going through your head today? What's that background looking like? Yeah, I've got a stand up background. Um, stand up and uh, you know, Aliki mentioned the little little MFA program we did. So I got that background, a little stand up, a little improv, a little sketch, a little spices here and there. <laughs> Emma, now I, I don't wanna I don't wanna be, you know, too prodding here. But I believe the last time you guys are on the Cheap Seats movie trivia, there might have been some shade thrown your way as as to your performance on said match. Uh, what what are your expectations going into today's match? And have you learned anything from competing before? You know, I've seen a lot of movies. I've had a lot of concussions. <laughs> and I'm going to attribute that. I usually say, um, I've seen a movie, but don't quiz me. And today, you're going to quiz me. <laughs> now, are those concussions directly related to the movies you've seen? Like, are those... Yeah. Okay, okay. Got so excited, sure. fell right out of yeah. my seat and slammed my head on the ground. Yep, okay. <laughs> okay, well. And, and go ahead, Evan. Oh, I was going to say, Chase, well, we have Aliki, who's not confident. We have Emma, who's not confident. No, I'm just, very confident. I'm going to oh. destroy Courtney today. Okay, she is she, confident. I, I just want to hear what. Time, yeah, last time she said that she carried me on her back. I'm going to prove that that's not true. Well, then let's just go right into Courtney then, Chase, because that's what I want to hear. Yeah, uh, Courtney, what do you have to say to that? And as you respond to Emma, you can also tell us a little bit about your background in comedy. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be overconfident. Say these two are downplaying it. We're masters of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> we are literally comedy masters. We've literally uh, taken co college level history of comedy <laughs> classes. <laughs> masters of <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Um, and then I don't know. I, I do stand up, but you know what even is comedy anymore? What's the you know? You know what is? <laughs> Who knows? We love introspection also here on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. So while we get into this, you guys can think about what is comedy. I think that <laughs> we're certainly going to find out by the end of today's matchup. And what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I just love that, that that tagline going into this. Uh, cheap Seats, Jeopardy match, what is comedy? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, and <laughs> of true nature. So, uh, ladies, we're going to get into this competition. We're going to do it for a boy, Alex Trebek, as Evan mentioned up yes. top, and Got we're going to have a fantastic time. Um, so before we get into that, we'll just go ahead 
and let you know that what your categories are for today's match. Evan, if you don't yes. mind. Absolutely. So guys, our first category is out with the new and in with the old. And this is any movie before the year 2000. So we're just looking before 21st century movies with this category. Uh, the second category is, are you making fun of me? This is strictly satire and parody movies. Women in comedy. Um, of course, that is very self-explanatory. We are talking about women in comedy. That's true. Good job, Evan. <laughs> SNL superstars. This is something that we did in our last Jeopardy match. You guys did not see, but this again is just SNL superstars and their films. Anyone that was on the cast can be counted in this category. And then we've seen this before. It's all about remakes, you know, things that came out at one point, got remade, different director, different cast, et cetera, et cetera. We've seen this before. Remake category. That is absolutely correct, Evan. You'll see our Jeopardy board now on the screen. To determine who goes first, I'm thinking of a number in my head between 1 and 30. Whoever's closest between the three of you will be able to, uh, to go first. So, Aliki, a number between 1 and 30. 22. Courtney? 5. And Emma? 29. The number was 17. So, Aliki, you are up first today. There are your categories out with the new and with the old. Are you making fun of me? Women in comedy, SNL superstars, and we've seen this before. Are you ladies ready for today's competition? Yes. Then let's go ahead and do the damn thing. The Cheap Seats Movie Trivia Jeopardy Edition All Out Comedy. Aliki, whenever you're ready, please select the category. I will take, are you making fun of me for 200, please? Okay, and here is your question again, ladies. Your answer will be your name. Uh, when you're ready to buzz mm -hmm. in, you will just say your name. So, are you making fun of me for 200? This 1985 movie, based on the Hasbro board game of the same name, has three endings. Courtney. Emma. Courtney. 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 Clue. We'll see if that is correct. Clue is the correct answer. Courtney goes up 200 points, and she has the board. Um, Sue, are you making fun of me? 300. Okay. Your question. Uh, before, before I read this question, I just would like to remind the viewers at home as well that points do get subtracted uh, yes. for incorrect answers in this. So, uh, Courtney, your question is, this director helms such projects as Robin Hood, Men in Tights, History of the World, Part One. Emma. Emma, go ahead. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks is Mel the Brooks. correct answer. Emma goes up to 300 points, and now she has the board. I'm going to take SNL Superstars for 200, please. Okay, SNL Superstars for 200. Your question. Kate McKinnon stars alongside Emma. SNL. Courtney. Emma. What is Ghostbusters? <laughs> Who are you going to call? That is correct. Emma goes up another 200 points there, and she still has the board. Uh, SNL superstars for 300, please. Okay, here is your question, Evan. Absolutely. This SNL actress appears in movies such as Wine Country. Emma. Emma, go ahead. Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler is the correct answer. Emma with another 300 points. Chase, she's, she's on so fire. Fast. She's but on you're fire so and fast. she is zooming through this. Let's see if we can keep this up. Emma, the board is still yours. Uh, let's go SNL Superstars for 100. Okay, your answer. That is the <laughs> Daily Double. <laughs> the Daily Double. Evan, how much is Emma able to wager here? So Emma's total right now is 800 points. Okay. So Emma, you can wager up to 800 points. Do I'm, it all, Emma. I can't. <laughs> do it all. Do, do it all. Treat it double, Emma. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to do 500. 500 oh. points. 500 points Ew. here is your question. In this movie, dim-witted brothers Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan dream of owning their own dance club, or at least getting into the coolest and most exclusive club in town. Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury is the correct answer, giving her 500 points, but since we're up to 1,300 so far wow. in the oh. game, Emma is, in fact, on fire. What's next, Emma? Let's do, let's keep it going. Let's do SNL Superstars for 400. Okay, your question, Evan. 
These two SNL alums star in the 1983 film Trading Places. Aliki. Aliki, go ahead. I okay. I want to say Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy is correct. Yay. Aliki, correct. Aliki is on the board, and she also has the uh, the the current board. Um, I'm gonna come away from us now. Let's do um out with the out with the new, in with the old for 100. Okay, here is your question, Evan. These two slackers usually appear on TV. However, in 1996, they take on the big screen and do America after crooks steal their television. Uh, I feel like I, know, I don't want to be wrong. Answer it, Courtney. Let's answer it, Courtney. We're good at 10, 9, 8. Courtney, you know it, just answer seven, it. Courtney, you want to answer it. 6, 5. Four, um, three. You can two, do it, Courtney. One, zero. Any answers? Okay. Whoa, wait. Um, Aliki, answer okay, it. No, never mind. Never, never <laughs> okay, mind. Never right. mind. We're gonna, we're I don't gonna have to go. Do okay, yeah. we're gonna have to move on. And the correct answer we were looking for was Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, oh, oh, the classics. The correct Described answer. it in a very sophisticated um, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, way Beavis and Butthead to America was the film in which we were rest referencing. And uh, Leaky, you still have the board. Okay. Uh, let's do Are You Making Fun of Me for 100. Okay, here is your question. In London, an electronic salesman, uneventful life is disrupted by the zombie apocalypse. Courtney? The um, Courtney. Uh, John of the Dead? Sean of the Dead is the correct answer for 100 points. Courtney, the board is all yours. Um, let's do SNL Superstars for 500. Okay, and your question, Evan. Name both films in which Chris Farley and David Spade co-star. Almost, Chase, almost a name there, but nothing nothing quite yet. Well, I, I know the one. I know the one. We need both of them. I know them. I mean, I know I know them both. That is correct in the technica technical aspect <laughs> of the game. There. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. We'll take one for 250, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> can I do that? No. You can share. No. Can you can't share. share. <laughs> which, one, which one do you guys know? <laughs> we'll, go to, we'll go to 10. Yeah, ask the nine, judges. <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, no answer there. Sorry, ladies. The correct answer we we're looking for was Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. Yeah, Tommy we all knew Tommy Boy. Sheep. We all knew Tommy Boy. <laughs> what if the one I knew was Black Sheep? I would <laughs> well, then I would have asked to split the point. What's Tommy Boy? <laughs> <laughs> what Leaky, is that? Uh, the board is still yours. SNL okay. Superstars is gone. Let's do Are You Making Fun of Me for 400? Okay. Your question. In the scary movie franchise, this actress plays Brenda Meeks, best friend to Anna Ferris's Cindy Campbell. Takes a chug of wild turkey. Like, <laughs> did that give it. you the answer? Because I still yeah, don't know. like it's like a brain blast. <laughs> we'll go to it's 10, not gonna hurt. I don't think nine, eight. Seven, six, five, yeah, you can count four, <laughs> three, two, one. No answer there. Regina <laughs> Hall is the correct answer. Regina wow. Hall is the answer you there. Okay. Um, I believe that who has the board? Is it still a leaky? It would be Courtney. Is it still me? Oh. Courtney has the board. Yes. Okay, Courtney has the board. You're all up, Courtney. Do I? I thought you did. You were answered the Just 100 take question. Just take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Courtney. I'll take it. I'll do women in comedy. Um, women in comedy for 300. <laughs> women. Okay. Your question, Evan. <laughs> yes. In this movie, the Flossy Posey, a group of childhood best friends, reunite for a much Emma. needed va Emma, go ahead. Girls Trip. Answer. Girls, Girls trip, trip is correct. Is correct. Uh, that would be the Flossy Posse, Evan. That would be the Flossy Posse. Oh, Posse spelled with an E? Yep. I thought it was um, an o. I mean, why? Emma, a you y. have the board. I'll take women in comedy for 400. Okay, here is your Ooh. question. This actress is used to playing a mom. In Juno, she plays Courtney. Ellen Pages. Courtney. Allison Janney. 
Allison Janney is the correct answer. Woo. Going up to 700 points there for Courtney. Just a score update for everybody at home. Emma has 1,600. Courtney, Courtney has 700. And Aliki has 400. Courtney, the board is yours. Um, Women in Comedy, 200. Okay, Evan. Yep. In Sister Act, this actress plays Dolores Van Cartier, but takes on the name Sister Mary Clarence when she dons the tunic. Courtney. Courtney? Courtney. Uh, Whoopi. Goldberg. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg, Goldberg is correct. Absolutely. Courtney goes up on end score and she still has the board here. Absolutely. Um, Women in comedy for a hundred. Okay. Good question. You haven't lived until you've seen this actress in the sink of a fancy bridal shop bathroom in Bridesmaids. Courtney. Uh, oh. Courtney. <laughs> uh, Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is the correct response. She's up to a thousand points now, and she still has control of the board. Courtney, when you're ready. Um, so you, are you making fun of me for 500? Okay, here's your question, Evan. Dimwitted male model Derek Zoolander is propelled to the top of the fashion world with this photogenic oh, game. Yes. Courtney? Uh, Blue Steel. Blue Steel is the correct answer. Just 100 Woo. points shy of Emma. Are you making fun of me? Is now gone. Courtney, you still have the board. Um, do out with the new, in with the old for 200. Okay, Evan or Chase. Uh, in this movie, Smokey and Craig Jones smoke a dope de dealer's weed and try to figure a way to get the $200 they owe to the drug dealer by 10 p.m. that same night. Uh, you've have you ever owed a, a dealer some cash like that, Evan? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's scary. Ten, <laughs> like, <nine. laughs> I love the segues, Chase. But like, <laughs> have you ever owed a drug dealer cash, Evan? <laughs> I, just, I said dealer. I didn't say drug. There's car dealers, <laughs> car dealers. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a. In five, I'm in debt to a local four, car dealership. Three, <laughs> two, one. No answer there. The correct response was Friday. Friday, Friday was Friday. I'm Rebecca Black. Yeah. Correct. No. As as in the Rebecca Black. Oh, uh, different one. Different. Uh, Courtney, board still yours. Um, do so out with the new three hundred. Okay, Evan. This actor appears in such comedies as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, The Flintstones, and The Little Giants. What is, what is Emma. Her name? Emma. Emma. Emma, go ahead. Uh, Rick Morantis. Oh, can you uh, got... repeat that? Rick Morantis. <laughs> can you say the last name clearly for us, please? <laughs> yeah. It's it's Rick <laughs> Morantis. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think know. We Chase. can accept that answer. I don't think we can accept that. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to take the points from Emma. Yeah, Evan. I think we're <laughs> so Emma goes down to 1,300. Uh, Courtney or Aliki, would you like to answer the question? Courtney. Courtney Rick Moran oh, I know it! <laughs> Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis yeah. is the correct answer. That's Emma. what I said! I no, it's it not. Is. Listen, there's a difference between a man and a mantis. <laughs> I true. said Rick Moranis. <laughs> You said Rick Morantis. I just feel like I'm enjoying being a viewer of this, I of this game right now. I'm just like love it. This is too entertaining. Maybe he got beat up in New York because of his last name. Oh man! Mm -hmm. oh, man. Please, don't, please don't hit Rick, Rick Morantis in the face if you yeah, see you him on the street. Yeah, you little Mantis uh, boy. But Rick Morantis, you could hit him if you see him. Yes, if you hit Rick Morantis. That's, that's okay. I just, I'm sorry, Emma. I just love the way you said Rick Morantis. Like, <laughs> uh, Courtney, you do have control of the board and the lead as well. Yes. Um, that was new for 400. Okay. Oh, that's mm. not what that is. Uh, Daily Double. <laughs> Daily <laughs> double. So, this is uh, crazy. This is for you. <laughs> Courtney, how much, how much can she wager here, Ev? So let me add this up quickly. And it's she has 1,800 points. So she can wager 18. Do it all. Do it all, Who Courtney. Like wager, Courtney. Uh, 500, please. 500 okay. on the line. No. Here is your question. In order to get out of the snobby clique that is destroying her good girl reputation, 
An intelligent team teams up with a dark sociopath and a plot to kill the cool kids in this movie. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know it. We are open to guesses. Okay, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get a five. Heather's? You could phone a friend. Heather's is the correct answer. <laughs> Giving Courtney so you knew the answer. more points there. Let's make sure we get her a 102. So Courtney's up to 2,300 points after wow. the start. After I handed her the Rick Moranis. <laughs> uh, she was maybe handed the Rick Moranis. We'll see uh, if that holds her right. up for the rest of the game. <laughs> but it. Courtney, you are up. Up big. Um, let's do out with the new 500. Okay, Evan, your question. This actor plays a poor black sharecropper's son who finds out he's adopted on his birthday in a 1979 movie. Courtney. Courtney? Courtney. Uh, the jerk. Oh, we're looking for the actor. We'll get oh, the actor. oh boo! She's Courtney. gone! Get rid of the points! <laughs> we, do have to, we, we do have to take away the points since we were acting for the actor. Uh, uh, Leaky or Emma? Let somebody say their name and they'll be able to answer. I said the answer. Oh, you, you said the, the answer. Okay, I said so it afterwards, but I don't think either of them know it. So you can I didn't hear it. it. I didn't hear it. And I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Say it answer, again, Courtney. <laughs> the, the correct answer, Courtney did say it was Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. So, Courtney, you did lose the points there, but you still have a, a favorable lead and you still have the board. Um, do women in comedy for 500. Okay. Uh, your question is, this actress stars in movies such as Like a Boss, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, Emma. Spy, Emma. Emma. Oh, God. <laughs> Rose Byrne? Rose Byrne is the correct answer. Yay. Oh, in the game, and she also Woo. has the board. Uh, we got one category left here. Uh, let's go for 100. Okay, Evan, your question. Jerry Stiller plays Wilbur Turnblad in this 19... Courtney. Courtney. Uh, Hairspray. Hairspray is the correct answer. Catapulting Courtney a little bit over Emma there, and now wow. she has the board. You guys are tight. <laughs> Aliki, you're playing in this too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. <laughs> like with like like the Whoopi Goldberg. Like I knew. I was just like, who's gonna say Whoopi? <laughs> <laughs> Gordy, the board is uh, still, in fact, yours here to play. Um, let's just do two hundred. Let's do Let's it. In order. Evan, your question. In nineteen. 67. Mel Brooks directed Zero Mostel and Gene Wilder. In 2005, Susan Stroman directed Nathan Lane Courtney. and Matt. Go ahead, Courtney. Uh, the producers. The mm. producers is the correct answer. Another 200 points for Courtney. She's got Absolutely. a nice lead so far, and she's still got Beautiful. the board. We have three more questions left here. 300. Okay, for 300. And your question. Peter Sellers and Steve Martin portray Inspector Cousseau in these 1960s. Emma. Emma. Pink Panther. I would like to buy a hand the girl. That is correct. She's up to <laughs> 200 points tied Emma. up with Courtney. We've got two questions left. And Emma, you have the board. I've still got a chance. Ooh, let's, let's go 500. Whoa. Oh, that's that's a good switched it up. You're crazy. Is your Whoa. Question. Evan, when you're ready. George Clooney plays Danny Ocean in the 2001 remake of Ocean's Eleven. This famous singer and member of the Rat Pack plays Danny Ocean in the 1960 movie of the same name. Well, it's not Rihanna, but she was in the recent one. That's true. That is true. We can't give you points for that. Um, but we will go to 10, 9, 8, 7. Six. Aliki, answer it. Five, <laughs> no, this isn't four, like the time when I know and I'm not saying three, it. I just don't know. <laughs> two, one, zero. No response there. The correct answer was Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. Frank Sinatra was the correct answer we like were looking for. Famous. So we've got one question. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've got one question left, and that is the 400 question. Evan, why don't you go ahead and read the uh, 400 question here as well. Absolutely. This Game of Thrones actor appears in both the British and American versions of the black comedy Death at a Funeral. Four hundred points on the board. Let's see who goes and jumps at the opportunity. Aliki, answer it. You love Game of Thrones. You've seen Game of Thrones. I know, but I don't know. I don't know. Death at a. I don't know. Just name the famous I'm, ones. The famous people from. From Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones? Sure. It feels right. Yeah. It's like a small cast, right? Like it's a yeah, it's a really like small a, cast. So oh yeah, it's like a tiny percent. cast. You have like what two options? Yeah. There's Khaleesi. Mm-hmm. There's Ned. These are their real names, right? Yeah. I think you're making yes. all of this up. <laughs> yes. Uh, I will it is a tiny cast. I literally cast. can always think of Peter Dinklage's name. It is a little cast. It is a um a, a dwarf sized cast, some would even say. I mean, I'm saying I can only think of Peter Dinklage's name. That's the only name I could give you. Exactly. So you I'm gonna like say I'm gonna say Aliki. Aliki, what yes. is Peter? Who is Peter Dinklage? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see if we're gonna get Aliki How some points Peter here, Dinklage? or she goes How down to zero. He doing? Peter Dinklage is the correct <laughs> answer, giving Aliki eight hundred <laughs> points in the game. So the board has been cleared, uh, but also we've got final Jeopardy left oh, to go. Do. Emma and Courtney are tied at 2,100 points. Aliki is down at 800 points, but depending on how much Emma and Courtney wager, we could see some life going far into this. So here is your category, ladies. Ensembles. These are ensemble. ensembles. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna give you a list of actors in a, that appear in a comedy film, and you will have to tell us which movie the list of actors corresponds with. Okay. Ensembles yeah. is your category. So uh, we'll do what we did last time. If you go into the private chat, uh, go ahead and type out your answer. We'll count down to uh, zero, and then you can submit how much you want to um, wager there. Uh, you have your whole your whole point value to wager. So we'll count down to zero, and then you can submit it. So are you guys all ready for that countdown? Mm-hmm. Emma, how much are you wagering? <laughs> <laughs> and three, oh, I did it! Two, one, zero, it. it! Oh in. my god! Put it all in. My finger slipped! <laughs> Emma's finger slipped. <laughs> so we have. Courtney left a. <laughs> Courtney, you changed it! You changed it when you saw mine! You changed it! <laughs> Emma, do you remember how the last one didn't work because you were so shrill? Can you stop ruining that? <laughs> All right, ladies. Again, your question is in the category of ensembles. Evan is going to be reading you your question. Are you all ready? Yes. All right, Evan. Uh, you're ready, brother. All right, ladies. Wait, Chase, where's where's the ensemble question for that is the ensemble question. Where is it in the email? It's on the it's on the screen. Oh, I didn't see it until now. Cool. All right, here we go, ladies. Paul Rudd, Amy Poehler, Bradley Cooper, J Jane, Janine Garofalo, Janine Garofalo, Elizabeth Janine. Banks, and Christopher Maloney appear in this 2001 comedy. So, if you guys have something to write in front of you, this is that time where you will and and, and uh, write it in front of you. So write your answers. <laughs> My apologies on that one, Chase. Uh, I had a little delay of the screen. It's okay. We're still friends. I'm not mad at you at all. I would understand um, if you were. <laughs> again, uh, just one more time for our competitors and for the people at home. Paul Rudd, Amy Poehler, Bradley Cooper, Janine Garofalo, Elizabeth Banks, and Christopher Maloney appear in this 2001 comedy is the question here. And we'll give you guys, uh, we'll put some Jeopardy music here. Uh, hopefully we don't oh. get uh, debunked or delicensed or anything like that. We're not making any money. Copy we can sing it. Sing it. We miss you, Alex. Oh, so come back, Alex. It's not 
the same way that I do. Once again, Chase, Aliki seems to be taking more pride in her uh, the comments, we, on hey, camera listen, performance yeah, than her we got a, we than we the got a good, solid third uh, comment, commentator. We do, we do. <laughs> whenever, whenever we need more commentators, we know who to turn to. I just read the question when he went, when he couldn't find it, and I answered it before he read it. And I'm just ready. That's all really beautiful. Uh, Thank yeah, you. It was very great. Uh, but we, we really, it really is me. <laughs> we will uh, be getting to your answers at this portion in the game. So, Aliki, again, uh, you know, you know that question is about Paul Rudd, named Paul, and some other people. What is your answer? The one I was waiting for in the parody category. <laughs> <laughs> Wet hot American summer is the correct answer, giving her seven hundred and seventy points putting her all the way up to 1,577. Emma, yes. did you answer? Well, at first I answered um, a different one, and then at the last second I realized, oh, shit, that's too late. So I did Wet Hot American Summer. Okay, that is correct. She wagered 900 points to give herself 3,000 points at the end game here. Woo. And, Courtney, finally, what did you have? Wet Hot American Summer. That is also correct. However, Courtney did not wager as much as Emma. She gives herself wow. 2,953 points. Oh my God, did Emma win? Emma is the winner of today's match. Woo! Emma wins. <laughs> Emma does it. She came away with the victory. She beat up her other uh, ends of the ideal threesome, and she won today's match by a slim margin there. She only won by 47 points today. Uh, so, Emma, we'll, we'll start with you. How are you feeling after today's big, big, big victory? Yeah, I would like to first thank and apologize to uh, Rick Moranis. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> And that and that's that's all. That's all I have to say. Evan, what do you got for uh, what do you got for Emma there? Emma, you came into today wanting to prove a point, and that was that Courtney Hall did not carry you on her back in the last match. <laughs> do you think that you proved that point? Um, I will admit the last match, Courtney carried me right on that back. <laughs> but today I proved Courtney, I'm worthy of being your teammate. Oh. Yeah. oh wow yeah. that was that was that was touching <laughs> you know i kicked your butt <laughs> would you it's like imagine if you had a nicer voice how sweet it would have sounded <laughs> oh, I think you're my teammate <laughs> well we'll go to emma's uh teammate courtney courtney you did play a great game here you didn't wager a, a enough to get the victory at the end of the game here but how are you feeling after after uh this round here and, and playing um, with your uh, troop here. Um, you know, I feel, I I feel fine. <laughs> uh, you know, this is like this is my third time on the on this program, and um, the third time I've lost, and um, it's <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little soul crushing. Courtney won the one that didn't air. Emma yeah, what the hell, Emma? Yeah, 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 Emma is yeah, Emma, no, I don't Emma. remember that. <laughs> There's no has proof. No, Aliki has no remembrance of that. Evan, what do you got for, for Courtney here today? Courtney, I, I'm not going to mince words with you here. I think you were the odds-on favorite heading into today's match. Right. And No, I'm, I, I just want to I just want to ask you the question. I think you performed very admirably. Were you surprised by your opponents today? Um. Well... <laughs> Oh, I was surprised that he just stopped answering. <laughs> I did it a little bit. Yeah, you're not that surprised. Yeah, I'm kind of on brand. And then I'm just, um, I mean, look at this little dummy. I just love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening on audio, Emma is smiling about a hundred watt smile to the camera right now. So, so, so yeah, true. <laughs> just dimmed down to about 43. Uh, we're going to a leaky uh, this is your, your your first time in the program, your first time competing. Um, 
you know, some might say some 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 of the cynical uh, might say you didn't necessarily compete the whole game. But <laughs> I get we, that. <laughs> we enjoyed having you here, and we enjoyed the antics for sure. But you, when you did answer, you all obviously came up with the right ones on the positive side, earning that eight hundred uh, points today. Actually, more than that, you're you're fifteen hundred seventy seven. I apologize. So, how are you feeling after today's today's game? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I feel like I definitely nailed my audition for like, if you guys ever just like want someone to be on for reactions, like I'm here. And yeah, I think, I think I couldn't have done better. <laughs> Do you, she doesn't think she could have done better. Evan. What do you got to say to that? <laughs> well, truthfully, Chase, uh, I was genuinely going to ask Aliki if she'd be interested in, in coming on and doing some, you know, uh, just being the audience member for some of our matches. So <laughs> I am that. I am very, very happy to hear <laughs> that uh, Aliki is proud with how she did today because most people <laughs> probably wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> I had a great I'm time. I'm just kidding. She did great. <laughs> she did great. I, I, so I think, I think, Personally, Aliki, I think you knew a couple of those answers and you bit your tongue. I just bite my tongue. My tongue just... <laughs> you know, like, just like, <laughs> a little case of I numb tongue. I wasn't like, stop it. Numb I was tongue. Just like, oh, those are words. And that's yeah. a good one. In, in the positive, like, this time. Yeah, well, that's, yes. that's absolutely true. I mean, the uh, the 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 smallest margin there was only forty seven points, and then yeah, uh, and then right below that was was leaky at uh, you know just like a three hundred point deficit. So everybody was on the positive end of the game here. Absolutely, which you can't you know doesn't always happen, but we are surely impressed by we're impressed by your performance, and we'd love to have you ladies back here, maybe in a trivia capacity, maybe just on the cheap seats podcast, so we yes. can get more into. You and and talk to you guys a little bit more just about who you are and and what you do and the silly antics that we're seeing on our screen here today you're just, you are good at what you do that you are just able to be like trivia is not for you guys you know what I mean? <laughs> we're gonna make else. you guys do something else you know what you guys are good at talking over this? each other here we go <laughs> Absolutely true. So uh, we want to thank you again, yes. Aliki, Courtney, and Emma for joining us on today's program. We're going to kick you out right now so we can tell some secrets and, and do some other things, plug in a little bit. Thank you again for joining us. And congratulations, Thanks, Emma. Yes, uh, congratulations. Your, your winnings, Emma. Woo! What? <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Evan, that was a fantastic that was, match between that was. Ideal Threesome. You couldn't ask for anything better. What a matchup. What a group. Yeah, no, Chase, that one was one of my favorite matches personally. I um, I think they really brought it today. I, I think that I was genuinely surprised at Emma's performance. She pulled out the W today in our first ever Jeopardy match. True. And like I said, I think Aliki has a lot left untapped there with her knowledge of film and movies. But... I would let, just love a live shot of her for every vi video that we ever post <laughs> of just the, her reactions because I think those were priceless. And let's not let's not act like this wasn't a 47-point game. Yeah. Courtney, Courtney and Emma both were above 3,000 points in this match today, and I think they both did fantastic. Aliki, like I said, has a lot of hidden potential in there, and I think – these ladies will be staples here on Cheap Seats Movie Trivia moving forward. I think so too, Evan. It's great when we have these matches that we can look at opponents and, and see futures for them on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. Maybe not even on the Cheap Seats Movie, uh, on, the, on the Cheap Seats Network, in any other capacity that we have. This is a solid group of ladies here. They're all very funny, they're all very witty, and they play a hell of a uh, hell of a well job together um they're they're really a great group and i'm excited to see him back here no chase i i can't wait to have him back on like you said made a podcast and it, the best compliment i can give anyone is that regardless of the situation you are just fun to be around and those ladies are just fun to be around they brighten up the room so i'm excited to have them back on whatever show they want to come on that's absolutely true. The ideal threesome is a good group. And like Evan said, we're, we're, we're going to see them 
back here shortly. But Evan, this was our first ever Jeopardy match. Yeah, but... And damn it, I think it went well. I think that this is going to have to be something that we cook up pretty regularly and do here on the Cheap Seats. I couldn't agree with you more, Chase. I think that this could become a really, really interesting style of match. It's different than what we usually do, right? I mean, that whole idea of the random categories being chosen for you, the random questions in the Jeopardy match, you get to choose your questions as you go. You get to choose your strengths. You get to pick the categories, but every player can answer. So there's a lot of ups and downs in both ways that we have distributed our matches so far. So I'm all for another Jeopardy match, and I would love – love to hear some suggestions from the viewers about what they would like to see going forward from that yeah that's absolutely right evan we're gonna do some more of these jeopardy infused matches probably some more specific uh categories like we did today like an all-out comedy or like an all-out action adventure yep. something of the nature that's gonna bring in just more eyes pretty much more people to maybe see something that's like hey i could definitely play along with an all comedy match or romantic movies romantic dramas let me get in there and let me see what i can do and see what i'm capable of evan that sounds like a fantastic idea yeah and, and chase i love the fact that you bring up everybody you know just everyone who's watching everyone who's competed um with with the time of year you know the holiday season's coming up and everything i would just like to extend the biggest of gratitude from the both of us to everyone who's competed on this on the channel who everyone's who's watched the channel who shared who's liked subscribe it means the world to us truthfully yes, and absolutely. you know in, in this time you watch us instead of giving us a like giving us a comment or subscribe you can still do that but why don't you head over to the ideal threesome or anyone else that we've had on the channel and give them some love, show yeah. some love to some random people in your life, spread that love. That's all we're about here on the cheap seats. We love getting new people together and having some fun. That's exactly what we did here today. And that's exactly what we'll do moving forward. Chase Brown. Absolutely, Evan. The future looks bright. We've been doing this thing for about seven or eight months here, mm -hmm. and you know the train is still chugging along. Choo -choo. Choo -choo, my friend. Absolutely. I love it here, and I love you being here with me. Like we love said, too, the links to all of our competitors there we can find anytime you watch a match. If our competitors have things going on in their lives, we put those links down in the description so you can share your love and support with them too. Because this holiday season, that's what we're thankful for. We're thankful yes. for the people that come in here, put time in, enjoy things with us, just so we have some content to put on the internet here. Uh, whether whether you know uh, they're they're coming in for the first time or whether they're reoccurring people, we can't thank them enough for joining us, being here, and and just making things so much better. You couldn't agree more, bud. And like like we always say here on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia, if you ever need a place to go, uh, join us in the cheap seats. There's plenty of room. And we truthfully mean that we all, we have room for anybody, anyone, anything you got going on in life. You need to turn on just a little something to get you out of that zone, to get you out of those, you know, those bad times. That a lot, I know a lot of us are going through at the moment with this year, please just, you know, like share comment, subscribe, and let us know what you guys want to see. Cause we just want to make content you guys enjoy. That's absolutely true. Evan, tell them what else will be down in the description, where they can find us, where they can listen to us, yeah, where they man. can watch us before we get on Apple. As always, guys, you know, YouTube, we're there. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you listen to podcasts, we are there. On YouTube, I believe we're under Chase Brown's channel right now. We are, we, are, we are now officially under the Cheap Seats channel. There we go, we guys. Officially so officially, we have the Cheap Seats channel on YouTube. Please, again, give us a subscribe on there. Hit that notification bell so you know when we release new content. Yes. You can watch it right away. And like I said, anywhere podcasts are listened to, we're there too. Yeah, absolutely. And as always, guys, if you're looking for somewhere to go, join us in the Cheap Seats. There's plenty of room. Have a good night, everybody.